what's up guys uh, welcome to my channel you know if you're new here my name is Patrick and you know before we start today's video if you haven't show your support to me by hitting that subscribe button smash it if you so desire to I mean come on it's 2019 so show your support by smashing that subscribe button so uh, as you can see here I'm not alone today I have my friend here Desmond Chong yeah, um, <clears throat> basically he's my friend since uh, high school, you know, and he's he's always been obsessed with uh, tech, all right. He is studying uh, science. science, okay. So you know he's pretty good in all this tech stuff. So I actually learned a lot from him, all right. And I'm gonna link his uh, Instagram. Okay, so today is gonna be another install video, uh, not on my car, but on my car. <laughs> <laughs> on my laptop. Yes, I got a new laptop just this month, a few weeks ago. And yeah, I mean, already got stickers here, so don't mind the stickers. And of course, nothing stays stuck. So today I'm gonna install something to upgrade the you know, technique upgrade a little bit for my laptop and here it is as you can see the packaging I already cut open it I bought this for like I think since last week and I just got it today and here it is so basically let me just read out what is this okay so this is this is a receipt yeah this is the receipt I bought it from Lazada for 247 which is, I know it looks very small, but it's something quite powerful. <laughs> it is a Kingston 8GB DDR4 RAM. You will blow your mind. <laughs> so, um, if you do not know, my laptop is an Acer Nitro 5 with an i7 generation for a GTX 1050Ti 4GB yes 4GB 1050Ti 4GB and it comes with a 4 gigs of RAM so you know again like I said nothing stays stock to some people 4 gigs of RAM is a lot but to me I think I need more I don't think 4GB is enough <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think in, the, in this generation 4G is enough already. Exactly. Minimum is 8G already. For now. At least 8G. At least 8G, yeah. But what made me excited about this today's video is my first time to purchase an 8G RAM. The maximum that I got is a 4G last time. But this time uh, just one piece of 8G of RAM. So today I'm gonna show you guys it's a pretty easy install by the way. I'm just gonna show you guys how to install. How to install. How to install. You can find it anyway. <laughs> Since you're here, how to install a RAM to upgrade your laptop. And I'm sure every one of you watching right now have a laptop. Maybe you're considering upgrade something, but you don't know what. This is it. So it's still in the packaging. Let's see what is inside the packaging. <laughs> that sound. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. And by the way, safety is number one priority. So we got the RAM right there with. I believe that is a sticker. A sticker. Yeah, this, this is the logo. Damn, sticker. that is a sticker to put on laptop and it will add horsepower. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Okay. Alright guys, so for this install, all you need is just a screwdriver. That's all you need. Uh, I'm still not sure which size, but we're gonna get into this beautiful laptop. Right. So right here we got the tools. Let's do this. Open up the baby. Only one screw to do this the right size open up the screw let's see hopefully this is it oh shit okay, okay. 
Bro. Okay, let's try one more time. <laughs> Don't harm the baby, man. Bro. Okay. <laughs> Tomorrow. Okay, guys. So after a few attempts, you know, we finally get it out, and we literally Google search how to, how to open it at the ramp slot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like so hard. But anyway, this is the ram. It's behind your laptop. You know, you flip it over, you get the screwdriver, you just pop this shit out, literally. And now is the insole. It's the ram. I remember is you just slot it in, just make sure you got the notch and the notch there. There's a notch. Okay. Good. <laughs> Don't <laughs> I love it, baby. Uh, yep. Clip clip. Yeah. Bam bam. And in. Bam. This is the final touch to make your laptop a beast. Let's not mess it up. Woo! Oh, is it crooked? Uh, anyway, <laughs> and that's how you add awesome power to your machine. I'm just kidding. Because right away we won't see the difference. Boot uh, up, come on, come on. By the way, this one is running on HDD, which is just a normal hard drive. It's not running on an SSD. And this is not sponsored by Acer. I bought this myself, and I think this is one of the highest spec of this Nitro 5 because there are other categories with Nitro 5 but I think this is the highest spec i7 I think others there's i5 and all those things I bought this laptop for 3999 almost 4000 anyway here it goes okay so in order for you to check whether the RAM is installed properly you go right click at your disk PC Right click it, then you go properties. Uh, correct. correct. This, this is shortcut. Go to, go to your shortcut. Go to your shortcut. shortcut. Yeah, okay. op then go to op uh, open file location. Open file location. Open file location. Yeah, then this is the real one. Right click Please. it. There okay. is a shortcut. Okay. Yeah, properties, properties. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. 12 gigs of RAM and that is how you check how many gigs of RAM you have in your laptop right guys so basically we are done installing or rather upgrading my laptop from 4 gigs of RAM to 12 gigs of RAM that is a lot so maybe we talk about why do you want to spend this money on upgrading your laptop well I think first of all like what my friend said, 4 gigs nowadays is not enough for a laptop. Even phones now they have 4 gigs, am I right? Yeah, I think my phone is 4 gig. Anyway, yeah, 4 gig is not enough. It's actually useful for if you are multitasking, you know, like for students, you know, if you have uh, running, uh, background running, uh, Microsoft Word, you have running PowerPoint, running Mozilla or those RAM actually help to boost up the process to make it not lagging. See, as you all know that uh, Google Chrome take out lots of RAM, so if you are Google Chrome user, yeah, Google Chrome user, you can just open up so many tabs as you like. Oh, open tabs, yes, in a Google Chrome. By the way, I don't use Google Chrome, I use Mozilla. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, this is from a Google Chrome user. Yeah. 
basically there's a lock that you can open it up smoothly no problem thanks for watching you know once again show your support by liking this video if you think this video is informative is useful for you for your install maybe your friend want to install it share this video out share that video out all right so once again if you haven't hit that subscribe button or rather smash it it's 2019 guys that's how you smash it <laughs> yeah that's how you smash the like smash. button yeah the like and the subscribe all right guys and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video cheers